These are the tools you will need. The box wrench, tommy bar, and dipstick are supplied with the machine. Adjust the tractor hitch pin so that the hitch pin is approximately 16 inches from the end of the tractor PTO shaft. Adjust the machine hitch eye to suit the tractor drawbar height. Back up the tractor and position it in place. Ensure the tractor parking brake is applied. Secure the drawbar to the hitch. Connect the safety chain to a suitable place on the tractor body. Reposition the parking jack onto its side. Remove the PTO shaft from the shipping position and confirm that driveline matches the PTO speed of the machine. Attach the driveline to the tractor and ensure a secure attachment. Ensure PTO check chains are anchored to prevent PTO guarding rotating. Flip the PTO stand down. This machine requires one spool. Connect the hose to the appropriate connections. Unlock the hydraulic lever valve to allow the flow of oil to the rear deck. Close the tap and reopen it slowly to control the speed of the wing drop. Connect the electrics to control the lights. Pull back and lock the safety latches. Lower the wings by hydraulic control. Rams must be in the float position when mowing. Loosen bolt B and C. Turn nut D clockwise to increase the cutting height or anti-clockwise to lower the cutting height. Match the height of the roller on both sides of the machine by checking the position of A. When the adjustment is complete, retighten bolt B and C. Start up the tractor PTO. Build up the operating speed. Select a suitable forward gear and proceed to cut grass. You must wait one minute to ensure that the transmission and blades are completely still. If the wings are lifted prior to the blade stopping, you will cause damage to the machine. While the machine is still hitched to the tractor, move the machine into transport position by hydraulic control. Ensure that the safety latch has clicked back into place. Lock the hydraulic lever valve.
Grease the roller ends after every 40 hours worked and increase this if working in particularly dusty conditions. Check the roller at the end of every season. If necessary, remove the roller assembly and adjust the tightness of the bearings. The PTO should be greased at regular intervals according to the user manual. Now grease the other points according to the user manual. Check the oil in the gearboxes with the dipstick provided.
the oil should be in the hash marks on the dipstick. If you need to add oil, we recommend 85W140 gear oil. The correct air pressure for this type of tire is 28 PSI. Blades, blade backs, blade bushing, blade bolts and nuts must be checked on a regular basis for wear. It is recommended to visually check the blade assemblies every 40 hours of operation. Sharpen the blades using a small grinder. Slide the yoke shield back. Remove the sheared bolt. Align the holes and install a new shear bolt. Slide yoke shield securely in place.